Hello everyone, welcome to another video here on the Foxtech YouTube channel. The topic for today is how do you disable live photos on your iPhone? Now there are a few elements or a few things you need to know about it. Let's get started right now. And first, you have to open up the camera app. Once you get inside the camera, you can see the basic user interface. Keep in mind that you have to be inside of the photo section because of course you will not be able to tweak the live photo settings inside of the video section. Anyways, in the upper right corner, you have the live photo icon and it can either be turned on or turned off. So the icon is either the basic circle or the one with the strike through. So you have two options. If you want to disable the live photos, just turn it off like this. But this is not everything because this section or this method provides you with two ways how you can disable or two modes of the photos in terms of the live activities. But um, if you want to just switch it, you just click on the three or I mean on the arrow at the top right here to show more options at the bottom. And when you go to the live photo button uh, at the bottom, like this, you actually have three options now instead of two. So you have the automatic, you have the on and off. You can see live photo on is at the yellow icon and it's also at the same color in the upper side of the iPhone. So when without this option, when you just switch it from the top, it switches from the turn off to automatic. But at the bottom, you also have the option to turn it on. So this is something to play with. But basically what's important for you is that you want to keep it turned off like this. You want to make sure that it is strike through, but you also want to make sure that it stays this way because it doesn't have to be the case to make sure that it always stays the same and you always just take regular photos, not live photos, open up the settings and find the camera section. It's somewhere closer to the bottom, so you're gonna have to scroll a little bit. But once you get to the camera section, find the preserve settings. So you can find preserve settings right here. And you wanna make sure that the other things can be turned on as well if you want to stay consistent, obviously. But what's important for us is the live photos. So at the bottom, the toggle for live photos has to be turned on. What it means is that it's gonna preserve any way how you set it up. So in our case, if you don't want to have live photos, you go in here, make sure that it is turned off. And in the settings, you make sure that it stays this way all the time. So the live photos always have to be turned off no matter what happens. So even if you close the camera app, come back, you want to make sure that you always just take regular pictures. And this is very important. Okay. Before we continue with other topics, like how do you turn off live photos for existing pictures? I need to show you one more thing which I've been working on, which is the Foxtech educational platform. It is free to join and inside you will find video editing course, an all apps explained course. You can find a community of other people which are learning there as well already. So yeah, you, it's, it's free to join. So why would you, wouldn't you want to do that? It's linked down below, of course. Anyways, if you already have a picture, which is a live photo, you're going to find out about it because there is the live indicator in the upper left corner right here. If you want to switch it off for this, you make sure that you click it because if it's not selected, you don't even get to see the option. So just find the live photo toggle and click on it. And you'll now have the option to turn it off. So click on off and now the photo is now a regular still image. So this is something that you want to make sure to turn off. I mean, off in our case for the live photos. What is also important is to choose a key image because if you click on the edit button, you can edit specifically the live photos right here. And there is also at the bottom, this little slider, which allows you to shorten the length of that video because live photos are basically videos put together into like live format, but it's just a video on the top of a picture. So that's just how it works. And if you want to choose the key picture, you can see there is the little dot at uh, like above it. So if you want to choose which picture is going to represent the live photo or which one you want to make sure is the one that stays saved, just switch it like this. Perhaps you don't want to see this, but see this. So you're going to slide it like this and make key photo, save it. And right now this is the photo which you have saved. At this point, you can turn off the live photo and this is the one that you're going to keep. So this is something that you should pay attention to. This is how it works. And this is basically everything there is to know about it. So I'm going to wrap up the video right now. Hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe down below to Fox Tech. You can also find it at the educational platform right there. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.